Welcome to Centauri Stir Fry. Stir Fry here, how the heck are you? Hope you're being excellent to each other out there. Um, today, just going over a few new comic books that I picked up. Gonna go over those and, and update the 300 subscriber contest. It's all DC and it's all on purpose. Um, so first, uh, a quick announcement, a little update. Um, there's a baby coming. She is on her way. It's uh, hours from now, possibly. Possibly a day and a half, somewhere in there. So it's approaching. It's approaching. And all, it's all getting wider as we speak. Uh, I think my eyebrows are turning white. Um, so that, that's interesting. <laughs> so so these will slow down. I said that last time, but they will. They have to. <clears throat> so let's get to the haul here. Really, really cool and simple. Been checking out uh, Infinity Countdown here. It's number five. Um, awesome variant cover with uh, Ultron on the cover here, and this is great, great work by uh, Jerry Dugan. One of the few Marvel books I love, and I get really excited about it. It was a total surprise. I had no idea what was going on with this book, and I, I ended up digging it. We're talking about the Silver Surfer, Adam Warlock, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, just freaking cool book. Super fun. Looking forward to the Infinity War, Infinity Prime, whatever comes next. I love it. It's awesome. And a book I'm going to give probably one more chance to. Unfortunately, even though I love Jason Aaron, I loved uh, Thor, God of Thunder, the Jane Foster run, I like um, Southern Bastards, I like just about anything he, he does, but uh, I'm not completely sure about this. Even though I love the art by uh, Del Mundo, I believe it has like a heavy metal magazine vibe, which I really dig. Um, but the comedy is kind of, kind of puts me off. It's almost like Ragnarok comedy, which is a little bit too goofy for me, but we'll see. We'll see if it gets a little more serious. Um, I do like the art, though. Probably not a popular opinion, but I dig it. And I, had, I usually don't get these. But we're talking about uh, True Believers. This is the first appearance of Doctor Doom. I love it. Was this Fantastic Four number nine? They don't say, but I believe it was number nine. Um, you know, that's in a very that's a very expensive book. It's on my want list for one of these days. Uh, when when the comic market crashes, I'll be hunting this thing down. But in the meantime, this dollar book's going to do just fine. Love Doctor Doom. I mean, Doctor Doom inspired <sighs> Vader. It inspired so many different villains, and I love it. One of the best ever. Also, Aftershock books have been great. Um, comics Misexplained and the Ghost Abortion slash Comic Book Channel usually mention something about this, so I enjoy when they tell me about new books. This I, I think this is new. It's Clan Killers, Sean Lewis and Antonio Puzo. Um, I just saw some swords in the background, so I jumped on it. Um, also, I'm not sure what printing this is or what uh, what cover. I don't know how many covers there were, but this is uh, Baby Teeth. So we got Donny Cates. I don't know. The cover looked really cool. So I've heard good things about that. I thought I'd check it out. And also one of my favorite books, my favorite book right now, period, is Analog by Jerry W. Awesome. We're talking about uh, a near future where the internet has been destroyed, dismantled, it's gone, and you're talking about a major doxing event where everyone's personal you know, information is out there in the open, so no one is online. No one's online. And if you are online, everyone knows your, your business. But it's great. you got this guy who's a courier who uh, delivers packages, you know, so your email is him. So people are always trying to intercept it. And there's lots of mystery and violence, and this is a really good book. I love the premise. Pick it up if you can find it. It's also going to be a movie, so I, I know it's getting popular. Um, Weatherman number two. I enjoyed the first issue. I think it's pretty cool. Um, this cover's not quite as funny as the first one. I think it's the A cover because of the border. Uh, but a really cool um, event uh, book. Not an event book, but there was a major event, and they blame the Weatherman for pretty much destroying for for destroying the world. So that's pretty cool. Really cool premise. Kind of fun. Um, this is uh, not so fun. Is uh, look at Batman. He's all depressed. Look at him. Yeah, well, he's got like a gray, he's got, like a gray beard. Because I guess uh, he was as he was as damaged and startled, <laughs> disappointed by the events of, of Batman Fifty as the rest of us, I guess. Um, really cool cover. This is the uh, yeah. I don't know who did that, but I do like that cover. It's cool. Yeah. Poor poor sad bats. Sad bats is back. Um, a book that I'm actually surprised with, because I was just about to drop this, because I was annoyed by Scott Snyder, but actually this is not, this is like, I don't know, the, the uh, I guess the word balloons and the, the narration and the exposition has, has, has toned down 50%, so that lets the artist flow, and the artist is uh, Jimenez, Jorge Jimenez. This is great. Some great artwork. I love the art in this book. Um, I get goosebumps just thinking about this artwork. It's so cool. I love it a lot, and this is probably by far my favorite cover so far of these uh, variants that Jim Lee's been doing. I think this is the best one, and the best book so far. So this has got me hooked. It took four issues to do it, but now I'm back in it. If you love Lex Luthor, if you like the Legion of Doom, if you like Grodd, if you like Sinestro, like I do, big Sinestro fan, um, man, this is a very cool book. I liked it. I was surprised how much I did like it. Let's put these down.
Also, we've got this previous when did this come out? This week? Last week? I don't know. I was looking through this thing, you're kinda of seeing there they're getting ready to start another event. It's cool to have booster gold gold here, so I was pretty psyched about that. But you look way back here. Hmm. Look way back there. That's Firestorm. What the heck, man? Firestorm was <laughs> He was in the Super Friends. He had his own book forever. Just a cool character. He had the puffy sleeves like a pirate. Man, he should be a little closer to the front, if you ask me. But what I'm excited about is this uh, DC Black Label. We're talking about Brian Azzarello and the freaking Lee Bramejo. Man, I can't wait for that. Sweet. Also, here's the contest. Um, I think there's like 40 books in here. Um, so there's a lot. <laughs> here's an update to that. All right, Here's some books we're adding to it. Cyborg, number one. It's from Rebirth. Really awesome covers. Really cool if you're a big fan of Cyborg. <clears throat> Cyborg number two. Again, cool covers. Cyborg number three. We've got Dark Side up there. Um, this is about the whole, you know, Cyborg and the Mother Box and their whole relationship there. And a little glare of some Marlow on here. This is Gotham Academy number one. Maybe you have a daughter, maybe you have a son, maybe you have a niece you want to give this to. It's a, kind of a lighter read, but fun. Gotham Academy two. Kind of a I like the colors on that. Again, it's just more of a fun book. And we're adding this, oh, what is it? 459, 30 center. This is Detective Comics 459. Um, it's got some man bad action and also Bruce Wayne committed murder and he's trying to get Alfred to cover it up for him, which is not very Brucey, Wayney. <clears throat> Disappointed you. And also we have, I'm going to go ahead and add this. This is the uh, variant cover, the Adam Hughes cover for Superman number one. A very cool cover and an okay book. I had some problems with it, but I mean, the art's great by Ivan Rice. And, uh, you know, whatever. It just didn't do it for me, but I think it's an excellent co uh, comic. And cover. Maybe not an excellent comic. It's a great cover. Good art. You can look at it and flip the pages and you'll be happy. Um, if you're a hardcore Superman fan, I don't know. But I'm adding to the, I'm adding to the pile. So, the pile just got bigger. There it is. See? Get pretty, get pretty thick. All right. So that's going to do it. Okay, now you can just go back to that 300 subscriber contest that happened. Uh, like and subscribe, say you want in, and there you go for it. It's international, reminder. Um, but these videos will, I said this last time, but we're going to slow it down a little bit, maybe throw some statue reviews up, but uh, I've got a baby we're bringing into the world, another me, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance. Things could get nasty after that. Okay, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Whatever, be excellent to each other. Remember, Maggie was right. We'll see you next time.